Looks just like the one on the last floor. There's even a big old door in the same spot where the number nine door is in the other warehouse. <sighs> no lever to open it anyway, I can see. Duh. How much do you think that thing weighs? You'd have about as much luck trying to lift a pickup truck, even if it was unlocked. I want to know what those are. Those white doors? Hmm. Yeah, seems like it. I mean, look at this. It's one of those things that says lock. Yeah, just like the ones next to the other chromatic doors. Yeah, they were different colors before, but... Guess things have changed for this round. An Ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. One of the other teams opened the gate early. What in the hell they do that for? We haven't even started back yet. Ah, never mind why. We just need to get back up there pronto. I'm worried about Quark. We need to hook up with Alice and Kay. The sooner the better. Let's go! Where's Quark? We took him to the infirmary. At the moment, Alice, Fi, and Luna are looking after him. Is he alright? I don't know if I would describe him as alright, but apparently his condition has not worsened, if that's what you mean. He is still resting. However, we... Good. I'm going to the infirmary. Oh, uh, Tenmyoji, please, wait! Oh dear. He's gone. There was something I needed to tell him. Well, it's not like it matters. The girls will just tell him when he gets there. He ought to calm down once he's seen the kid. What are they going to tell him? Well, you see... You found virus medicine in the laboratory? Yes. Unfortunately, we found only a single vial. So it would seem.
right behind you. He should be fine now. It might take some time for him to recover fully, but the worst is over. the vial and confirmed that it was definitely Excelivir. Now that I've administered it... The Excelivir should eradicate the virus completely given enough time, right? Yes, that should be the case. <sighs> Thank goodness. Yeah, what a relief. Things are looking pretty sketchy there for a while, that's for sure. Please. It was nothing, really. We just happened to be the ones who went through the red door. Where is Kay? He's not in here. He's still in the warehouse. Dio and Kay stayed behind. They went there to wait for you guys while we came back here. We figured someone should explain what was going on so you wouldn't come back to an empty warehouse. <laughs> There was only one door open. Well, we should get back and tell them how Quark's doing. Kay will want to know at least. That, that's right! You know that memory card we found? Yeah, I think I know how we can take a look at what's on it. What, you don't remember? There was a memory card just like it that we used to solve the puzzles in here. Yeah, he's right. There's a slot next to the screen. It should work for this one, too. <laughs> See what's on it. Is there an audio file on here? Why don't we turn up the volume a bit? sound of my voice, huh? Well, I gotta be honest. It's getting pretty lonely over here, too. Feeling kind of like howling at the moon, lone wolf style. Speaking of which, I'm looking at it right now. The old girl is beautiful. 
Never seen a moon this full. And that color. Tonight's that eclipse, remember? What a way to end 2028, huh? The moon's this amazing red. If it wasn't so beautiful, it'd be kind of ominous. Wish you guys could see it too, but... Uh, sorry, forgot. You're supposed to be on Mars, aren't you? So, uh, how are Phobos and Deimos looking right now? Sure hope I'll get to look up at them someday too. Anyway, over. Hey, something wrong? Talk to me, guys. What, you gonna play hard to get because we haven't talked in so long? Enough jokes, all right? Knock it off. Where are you guys? Is there something wrong with the radio? You're saying everything's green? Well then, what the hell's going on here? Why aren't they responding? No, the video feed's online. Look, you can see all nine of them, three at each table. What? Someone hacked our feed? What do you mean, this isn't live? An old clip on repeat? Who would do that? What in the hell is happening here? This is control. I repeat, this is control. Please come in. I'm asking you to respond. This is... Oh, thank God. You really had me worried there. What happened? Six of us are... dead. What? Counting myself, there are only three left. How? Why are... They were killed. What? I... I guess you could say I killed them. No. No, that's not quite right. Not just them. Not just these six. All of them. All six billion. Soon, I will have killed six billion people. Are you there? Respond! Damn it. This is control! I repeat, this is control! We have an emergency situation! We have an unconfirmed report of six deceased test subjects! Deploy rescue and escort teams to the test site immediately! Shit. What the hell happened in there? Yes. What on earth was that? Do you know something, Tenmyoji? Yeah, I think I know what that was. It's probably a transmission from the Mars mission test site. Mars? I'm sorry, what? You mean some kind of space travel? What kind of test site was it? Hmm. Did you know that the government is developing spaceships with particle annihilation engines? These ships would be able to get humans to Mars a lot faster than old chemical rockets. But they don't want to just send a manned Mars mission off half-cocked. That was the idea behind this test. They built a whole complex on this old Air Force base in Nevada. The idea was that it would be a simulation of a manned mission to Mars with a crew of nine men and women. They'd monitor the whole thing and use that data to plan the real mission. Yeah. Why is something like that here? Don't know why. We found it in the safe. No explanation. Dollars to donuts, it's got something to do with Zero's plan. You mean we were meant to hear what was on that card? Yeah. It's all very interesting, but how exactly do you know about all this? Oh, about the simulated Mars mission? Yes. I was involved with the project. <laughs> the intent was to create as accurate a simulation as possible. That meant we'd need to simulate the radio silence we'd experience during conjunction. What's a conjunction? It means two things in space are close to each other. In this case, we're talking about a superior conjunction, where Mars and Earth are on the exact opposite sides of the Sun. So unless we've got some sort of relay, there'll be a period of time where we won't be able to communicate with each other. What we heard on that card was when the simulated conjunction was scheduled to end. That's when they died. 
Now we don't know that. They could have died long before that conversation. All we know is that's when it was discovered. So six of the test subjects died, right? <sighs> yeah. Just what the hell happened there? The truth is that there's a chance a virus escaped from the test site. A virus? Wait, you don't mean... Yeah, Radical Six. What? How can that be? I'm just telling you what I know, okay? Nobody's sure how Radical Six got in there in the first place, but... One of the subjects might have been infected when they entered. Or the virus itself might have been an intentional part of the simulation. The test site deaths became the index case for a pandemic. Anyway, prevailing wisdom says it got out somehow. And once it was out, it spread pretty quick. All across the planet. And it killed six billion people? No, not directly. Best numbers put only a third or so of those deaths as directly caused by Radical Six. The other four billion died from the collapse caused by the deaths of that first third. The whole world just fell apart. Me too. Christmas Day. I was kidnapped on Christmas too. Clover and I were taken three days earlier, on the 22nd. Yeah. <laughs> You see... Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. We're out of time. We need to go back to the warehouse. Don't care. I need more than 10 minutes to explain everything. Half-assing it is just gonna make you more confused. Now get moving. That's enough! Shut your damn hole or I'm picking Betray! Uh, hey, come on now! Fine. Do what you want, but I need to get back to the AP rooms. I'd like to stay with Quark. He seems to be doing all right. I'll stay here with him. If I can do the voting for our pair, I can trust her. Is that all right with you? Yeah, sure. Well, if you'd be willing to do that, I'd be much obliged. Thanks, Luna. Take good care of him. Of course. I'll make sure everything goes fine. Yes. We'll just have to wait to hear the rest of what he has to say later. I'd rather just get it all out in the open now, but there's not much we can do. Let's get going then!
He has gone into his AP room. Already? Indeed. Then he opened the first AB gate, right? Of course. <sighs> this is bad. I won't be able to talk with him. This is going to limit my choices. You've only got one BP left, don't you? Yeah. Luna's the same. If Phi chooses ally, and Dio picks betray... Phi and Luna will be penalized. Uh, I don't have a choice. I'll have to pick Betray. The risk with Ally is just too high. That's right. But Kay and I will be playing against Quark. And he'll just default to Ally. I guess you don't need to worry about getting penalized then, huh? You needn't worry. That will not happen. Even though, as you have told me, Quark is recovering, he is still weak. Moreover, he is only a child. To betray an innocent child would be... Yeah, that would be unthinkable. Even if you ignore his age or condition, it's hardly fair to take advantage of someone who can't vote. Yes. Of course. Well then, shall we go? Yes. Do you remember what you said to me when you chose the blue door? Something about how you'd convince me to choose Ally? Seems like now would be the time to let me know how you're going to convince me. Hmm. I see. And you figure I'll believe you because you've only got one BP. Once you've told me that you plan to ally, I won't be able to choose Betray. Since, if you're telling the truth... Mm, not a bad plan, but it assumes that I've taken killing you off the table. Seems like a risky bet for you. And why is that? I'd never... What if Clover tries to seduce you to get what she wants? Huh? Well, that's just an example. What I'm trying to say is that once you two are in that room, Clover might try and make some sort of bargain with you. I'm asking what you're going to do if that happens. Are you sure you'll still choose Ally? Hey! What are you staring at, you perv? There's no way on earth I'd do anything like that! Ugh, as if! In your dreams, creep! Hmm. <laughs> so I can trust you. You're gonna choose Ally. You can trust us. Promise. We promise. Alright. I guess I'll vote Ally too, then. Three minutes remain until Abidex game polling closes. Well, looks like we don't have much time left. I'm trusting you.
Yeah. and strong, you'd probably just throw me on the ground and that'd be it. <laughs> so I thought I might as well just ask you really nicely. Oh, I mean, I'd be happy to, um, pay you back. If you just pick Betray for me, then I'll listen to anything you say. <laughs> yep. So think carefully, okay? If you choose Ally, you're trusting him with your life. <laughs> uh-huh. Are you really, really sure you can trust that old fart? <laughs> the only safe choice is to pick Betray. <laughs> Then I'll have 9 BP. But you don't need to worry about that. Even if I do get 9 BP, I won't just go and open the number 9 door all by myself. I mean, Alice wouldn't have 9 points yet. And I can't leave her behind. Please, will you pick Betray? 20 seconds remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. If you just pick Betray for me, then I'll listen to anything you say. Three, two, one. <laughs> Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Looks like you managed to trust me. <laughs> Only did what I said I would. I could say the same thing. No need for thanks. That 
was a bad choice, Sigma. And after I told you I'd listen to anything you said. Oh well, whatever. You tried to kill me and Luna. Can't say I'm surprised. Ah, oh, don't give me that. You know exactly what I was doing. I knew you weren't stupid enough to pick Ally. You'd defend yourself with Betray, just like I would. Wait, where's Luna? In the infirmary, looking after Quark. Is that where Alice went to? Alice? No, she went into one of the AB rooms with Kay. Yes, we did indeed enter together. When the doors opened, however, she left, somewhat unsteadily, in the direction of the Cyan door. She left the warehouse? Indeed. Without even checking the results? Correct. There was little reason to check them. Yeah, it's not like Quark was gonna betray you. Indeed. And you two still choose Ally. Man, what a pair of bleeding hearts. If you say so. Being mocked for my compassion is a small price to pay for retaining my humanity. Where did Alice run off to? While we were in the AB room, she mentioned being quite tired. Perhaps she went to one of the cabins to rest. Oh, well, I guess that would make sense. The Ambidex gates have closed. Round 3 of the Ambidex game will be the Star Round. Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the Star Keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. That means the star keys can be used to play the AB game any number of times. If I understood that announcement correctly, that is. Hey, didn't Zero Junior say something about this? As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically! The parent solo is signing the top around a bit too! solos are red, green, and blue. K's red, Dio's green, and you're blue. Ah uh, yes, Dio told me about them. Very interesting. Yeah, they're white, all of them. I had a good look while I was waiting for Sigma to show up down in the warehouse. Yeah, I did. You're talking about the doors in the Floor B warehouse, right? You mean there's only one option? Yeah. There's no other way we can group up to make white. 
Alice, Luna, and Quark aren't here to show us their bracelets, so we don't know for sure what their colors are. But it's pretty clear they'll all be pairs, since none of the pairs here have a partner. Right. All right, what now? We've got plenty of time until those white doors open. I'm gonna go find Alice. Of course. I'll come with you then. Say it. Yeah. I think I'm gonna head over to the lounge and have a drink. You wanna tag along, Kay? Are you making fun of me? I find it rather hard to drink with this mask on. Ah, oh, right. Of course. My bad. Well, I'm out. Later. Hey, what is this? You following me? No, you must be mistaken. I hope to investigate Floor B further. There are still several rooms I haven't visited. Okay, okay, you don't have to tell me your life story. See ya. Tonight's that eclipse, remember? What a way to end 2028, huh? Forget it. It's got nothing to do with you. Why should I tell all of you about one measly photo? I asked her to leave. I wanted to be alone with Quark for a bit. So... Why are you here? The rest of what? What the hell are you talking about? I don't have any idea what you're talking about. I'm getting old. Memory's not what it used to be. I seem to be forgetting a lot of stuff lately.
You really sure you want to know? Maybe I'll tell you, and then you'll regret it. Maybe you'll wish you'd kept your fool mouth shut. Just think about all the hopes you've got for the future, and all the happy memories of your past. What if what I have to tell you makes everything you've ever believed ring hollow, and the whole world just crumbles around you? You sure you want that? This isn't a threat. I'm being honest here. Are you really, truly prepared? Good. There you are. Alice... Alice's... Look, just come with me, all right? She's in the number two cabin. Clover, 
calm down. We don't even know if she was killed. Then what happened? An accident? You think a scalpel just dropped from the ceiling and stabbed her? Cool it, kid. You did it, didn't you? Are you nuts? Then who did it? Who killed her? Clover, even if we assume that she was murdered, that doesn't necessarily mean the killer was one of us, does it? Wait a minute. You went into the A-B room with Alice during the last round, didn't you? Something happened in there, didn't it? No, nothing happened. Don't lie to me! There's no way Alice would just run off like that! She wouldn't leave me! Something happened! If she was going to leave, she'd tell me! She... she... Hey, Clover. Don't you think just assuming Alice was murdered is jumping the gun a little bit? How can you look at her and say that? Scalpels don't just stab people all by themselves! Oh, I see. I see. I get it now. You're all in on it, aren't you? It wasn't just one killer. It was six! No wonder you're so anxious to say this wasn't a murder. Clover, please, just settle down. Huh? Fine. Show me some proof, then. Prove to me in ten seconds that you didn't murder my friend, or I'm going to kill every last one of you bastards! You're all going to die just like she did! Nine, eight, seven... Clover! Six, five, four... Clover! Three, two, one! Thank you. 